I'm back in my uh, in in Bridge, and I'm going to open up an image. This uh, this image right here that I took a, a year or so ago, year and a half or so, and it's uh, just uh, north of Salt Lake. I'm going to uh, double click on it. By the way, notice the uh, file extension. Uh, it's a camera raw extension. It's a raw extension. Uh, this is a Canon. Was shot with a Canon image, Canon camera. And this was shot with a Sony. Sony calls it ARW for some reason, but it's raw. So I'm just going to double click on it, and it should open up in um, Bridge. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, use a couple of tools right here. I'm going to show you how to use the adjustment brush right here, and I'm going to show you how to use the targeted adjustment tool. Uh, now. I'm going to go right here to this this uh, this button where I can use these hue saturation and luminance or, or black or whatever tabs. I can go in here and and adjust the oranges and yellows because there's a lot of orange and yellow here with the um, brush with these. I'm going to make them lighter. The orange is a little lighter. You can see how that uh, targets that. And I'm going to do the yellows. Notice I do the yellows. Most of those most of that brush right there is is a uh, is yellow and I'm going to make the blues a little darker and the greens I want to make a little lighter and I can spend a lot of time doing working with this or uh, by the way I'm just going to go through and zero everything out I'm going to just go zero tab zero tab all through there so those are all zeros and then I'm going to click on this targeted adjustment tool and notice how it has that little triangle like right there that means that I can choose different things to target. And notice that how it has luminance, saturation, hue, a parametric curve, and grayscale mix. I'm going to just go to luminance. And say I want these greens and yellows to be brighter. Watch what happens over here as I click and drag using this targeted adjustment tool. And notice how it kind of notice how it's moving the oranges and the yellows together. So it's finding the areas right here that have that red, I mean that orange color, which is a combination of um, of um, yellow and orange. And I'm going to come over here to the greens. I'd like this to be a little brighter. So I'm just going to drag that and make those greens a little brighter. I'm going to brighten up this background mountain. Not too much. I'm going to lighten the sky and these clouds. I'm going to darken the clouds, but you know it's hard to adjust those exactly. Now I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go down to saturation. Notice if I click and hold down, I get those selections. I'd like there to be more blue. So I'm going to saturate the blue a little more. I'm going to saturate the green a little more. And I'm going to saturate these yellows and oranges. And that does a nice job. I'd also like to shift the hues up here. And shift those around a little bit. You really can't see what's going on. But if I shift it on the screen, you can see what happens to that. I can make it look more spring-like rather than, you know, middle of the summer. Make everything look a little greener. Um, I'm just going to go back to the hues. I, 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 won't, I don't want to change any of the hues. So just double-click on those sliders. Uh, I can also use go to the parametric curve, and I can do some adjustments here. So say I want to... Notice how it, when I do that, it brightens up the lighter areas. I'm going to darken some of these areas down here. So I have darker skies and lighter um, you know, foliage. That is essentially how to use this, this targeted adjustment tool. It targets uh, whatever tool you're going to use, like this parametric tool. And when you click on something, it says, OK, that's the area that you want to adjust. Let's adjust it. Uh, one last thing. Notice this. S curve that I created when I when I made the darks this area up here darker and this area lighter. When you get a nice kind of S look, that's in in this histogram. That usually means you have more contrast. So that's the targeted adjustment tool. It's another way to go in and make some basic adjustments very easily and very quickly. One last thing I want to show you now is the um, adjustment brush. With the adjustment brush, I can select an area. That means I can uh, I, notice I have that brush. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to make it bigger because I want these blues. I'm, I'm going to work with these blues right here because I'm not completely happy with them. So I'm just going to paint along where those blues are and try to avoid the clouds. I'm going to make it smaller so I can just kind of go into this area. 
and I'm just going to paint around in these clouds. So I'm just selecting the the blues that are near the cloud. I mean, just the blues in the image. I'm almost done. Let's come over here, and it's showing me what I've painted. Now I haven't actually painted anything yet. What I've done is just selected an area, and Photoshop's smart enough to say, "Oh, hey, you, you, it looks like you're just selecting the blues." So, oops, I'm going to undo that. Go back two steps. Just because I selected too much areas. If you want to go back more than one step, it's uh, Control Alt Z. That's what was my shortcut key that I did. Now I don't want to show the pins, so I'm gonna let's see what did I do here. Uh, it did an auto mask. I don't want it to show my mask there. Now it's showing the mask. Oh, that's what it did. All right. I, I, notice how all these all these uh, things were moved all the way over. I don't want to show the mask. It actually did make everything darker because notice that the, the contrast, the exposure went way down for that. So I'm going to move up this and notice how it's just adjusting that area that I painted. So I can change that exposure to make it kind of this brighter blue. I can reduce the contrast. I can change the highlights a little bit. And this just lets me play around with the image, just that area that I painted using that uh, adjustment brush. So I can add or decrease saturation, come down here and do all these other things. I can feather it. So if I want to feather that area and this flow and density, these are all just bars you can play with. Now, I didn't make this picture better by doing that. So the way I can get rid of the adjustments that I made I go into the adjustment brush. Let me show the, I can just clear the pins. And then that takes it back to the way it was before I, I did it. So that's how you can use the adjustment brush. You paint in an area and then you can work with this to make all these, all these sliders to make adjustments in a camera image. You can also do it in JPEG, but you don't have as many options. That's it.